Okay, you guys, um, it's after midnight, and I'm going to make this quick because I have to get up for work. Um, I've come across some very disturbing information, and what you do with this information is up to you. I do expect you to please take it to Jesus Christ in prayer, and I've been in prayer myself about this. And I've confirmed this directly with Jesus Christ that this is in fact happening. Obama, <laughs> I'm going to back this up. I've had a dream that I saw the United States being, it was like I was looking at a puzzle, and this was about a month ago, and I saw the United States being uh, taken apart from the inside out. Okay, this was about a month ago. And I know that the Lord said he was using Obama as a means to render judgment on the United States and as a tool to taking the United States apart. Okay, um, we all know the United States is going to be divided once the Daniel 927 prophecy is going to be fulfilled. I'm not going to get into the Daniel 927 prophecy. You will have to look up that scripture yourself. And I have other videos that talks about the scripture of Daniel 927, about the peace treaty. I'm going to call it that. It's a covenant that Israel is supposed to sign with many nations, it's supposed to be for seven years. The Antichrist breaks the agreement uh, halfway into the tribulation. So that Daniel 9.27 prophecy is supposed to usher in the tribulation. Just giving you a little synopsis on the uh, very important scripture, because all the scriptures is important. Anyway, um, I've come across some very disturbing information. You can even Google it yourself. Obama did this on a hush-hush. He was very quiet about it. They're not talking about it in mainstream media news. Obama has put an executive order to strip Texas of uh, their statehood and to give Texas pretty much to Mexico. He also has in the works to sell uh, Alaska and return Alaska to Russia. Why is he doing that? I don't know. But I firmly believe that he's being used by the Lord Jesus Christ to take the United States apart and weaken the United States. I've told you I've had dreams that the southwestern part of the United States was invaded by foreign forces. I told you the latest one as I saw news on the uh, latest dream was seeing a news bulletin where the red zones, there's a map of the United States, the red zones marked occupied zones, the blue zones marked freedom zones for right now. And it was the southwestern parts of the United States. I had this dream like four months back. I also told you that I had a dream about hearing July 20, July 2015 between the hours of 7.38 p.m. and 8.38 p.m. And it had something to do with war. Now, again, I don't know if that date was for this year, as in July 15, 2015, or next year. I don't know what year it was, but... I believe it was during Obama's presidency, and I believe that Obama's presidency, um, his presidency was extended because of a major war. And according to the Constitution, the president can do that if there's a major war, and he's right in the middle of being a president, he can extend it, and then he's close to the end of his term, but not quite, he can extend his term beyond the time he's going to be in office. And I've had a dream that, again, the wars was centered on the southwestern parts of the United States. Now, if you look at Jade Helm, where it's focused on, it's focused on the southwestern parts of the United States. If you look at maps of what the United States considers hostile states, those zones are red, just like my dream. And the upper parts of the United States that are not considered hostile are blue, just like my dream. I believe that that prophecy is unfolding little by little. And it's coming to pass. It's unfolding gradually. So these are the times that we're living in. It's not good. It's very disturbing. Um, there's also a lot of resources within each of our states that they're not telling you about. Uh, for example, Texas has a lot of oil, natural gas. My state has that. The southwest United States has tons of oil to tap into. Gas, natural gas, minerals, gold, silver, you name it. They're not tapping into that. 
there's so much resources like that available that it can instantly bail out the economy, but they're not using that. Um, they want to use it as a means to either for selling it to foreign nations that we owe money to or the United States wants to use it for their own agenda. Perhaps to develop more dangerous warfare, not just chemical that they're using in biological. They are engineering a new type of weapon that is supposed to harness the powers of negative energy. In other words, demonic energy. That's what CERN is for. That's supposed to harness demonic powers. They tell you, oh, it's a godlike particle. They're not talking about Jesus and Christ. They're not talking about Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. The God that the United States is talking about is the devil. Excuse me, false God. Jesus Christ, the true living God. I'm going to stop here, but I'm telling you that it is not good. The times we're living in are very dire. They're very, very serious. You have to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you are grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ because you, the Lord is taking the United States apart bit by bit from the inside out. Okay? Um, they're being very secretive about Jade Helm. Between me and you, again, I went into my prayer closet. The United States is preparing for war. Not just any kind of war. I'm talking about the great war that is prophesied in the book of Ezekiel 38 and 39 chapters. They're preparing for war and they're keeping the public in the dark about it. Other disturbing information that you don't believe this government is planning is that they place an order for portable morgues. The order was so large that this company had a difficult time filling it. These morgues are going to be housed in the southwestern parts of the United States. Also, they ordered more guillotines. They ordered more uh, different types of bacteriums that they're not telling you about. Why do they need morgues? Unless they anticipate something very catastrophic happening and the death toll to be high in the millions, even the billions. Why do they need coffins? Why do they need to strip you of your constitutional rights? Why does the government need to take control of the air, transportation, light, manufacturing, water, food, excuse me, transportation, everything. Why do they feel the need that they have to put executive orders where they can make slaves out of their own people? Obama has absolute power. Why do they feel the need to monitor the traffic on, on social media to see who's considered extremists? You know who the extremists are that the government sees, ladies and gentlemen? Me and you as believers in Christ, those that support the Constitution, in other words, our, our basic rights and freedoms, those that, are by, that believe in the Word of God and Jesus Christ, who is God most importantly, because the Word of God is very important, Jesus Christ is very important. Excuse me. Those that oppose the distorted values that society has, the government has, such as the homosexual agenda, abortion, transgender, bestiality. This is a sodomite nation, ladies and gentlemen. This nation is full of devils. I'm not saying my brothers and sisters in Christ, but I'm saying this nation, ladies and gentlemen, is full of sodomites. Child of the devil. And I'm going to say it like it is. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop here. But these are the times that we're living in. And it's not good. They did the nuke deal. Iran, I told you all a month ago that deal was going to happen because it's Bible prophecy. They put the ink to paper today. 
Do you realize the dangerous position it puts Israel in? That's Bible prophecy. Israel's not going to take it sitting down. Israel's going to retaliate on a very dangerous scale. And the United States has threatened to stop Israel. Again, it's Bible prophecy. Because Israel's supposed to be chastised too, but Israel will be delivered. Because that's the apple of God's eye. Do you know that Obama authorizes the use of biological warfare? In other words, he has been experimenting with different types of bacterium, unknown to mankind. And you know those little puffy clouds that you see that you might think are clouds? Not all of them are real. They've been spraying them in the air and using large populated areas, particularly cities, as guinea pigs to see how effective these bacteriums are. Some of these bacteriums and viruses and diseases and such will kill immediately. Some is slow and it takes over time, like it's long term. Just the time we're living in. So you have to make a choice that you either for the cross, the nation of the cross, in other words, Jesus Christ, or you're against it. Because when Jesus Christ comes, and he's coming, and he told me he is, you want to make sure you're on his side. Because let me tell you something. It is suicide to go against the living God. He is too powerful. The United States is fighting a losing battle, just like every other nation on this planet. You can't defeat United States, a God that is eternal. You're going to lose. Those that support you will also be under the feet of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. These are the times we're living in. So you either for my father or you're against him. And if you're against him, you will be destroyed with the rest of the sodomites.